coming to you from the top of Wall Street. I'm Rebecca Arena, and joining us is Gerald Kamithiong. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. This is the CEO of Totos Medical, and Totos specializes in testing for uh, cancer and Alzheimer's. But a lot of changes have been happening in the world, in, of course, coronavirus. So how has that transition uh, developed into COVID-19 testing? Uh, well, we got into COVID-19 testing primarily through our cancer lab. You know, a lot of uh, companies that were involved in cancer would measure RNA, measure DNA, measure replication. And so uh, as COVID broke out, it became clear that it was going to be an important thing to focus on. And so we used some of our assets and capabilities and partnerships to build a COVID-19 portfolio in the cancer lab. Of course. And so I saw that you guys partnered with L1 Systems for ventilators and testing kits. How has that progressed? Well, you know, it's been interesting uh, because COVID has ebbed and flowed. So there's been a lot of need for ventilators and there was a smaller need for ventilators. And now people are starting to understand where and how to use ventilators. Uh, and for us, that was never a priority focus. The idea with that is that we had access to the buyers of those ventilators. Uh, because we're, they're the same people that are procuring tests. And so we were getting asked for it, and now it's part of our offering. It's made available. It actually helps us open a lot of doors. Interesting. And so I know a big partnership has been with Meridian that's provided a turnkey solution for on-site COVID-19 testing. Could you tell us about that process and how it's expanded? Well, that's a very exciting uh, opportunity because Meridian's got a national health network and we're working with them on their national CLIA license using our uh, technology, our equipment, and our reagents. So for us, uh, a mobile solution really solves a lot of the logistical problems that we've been talking about in the market with regards to things being shipped all over the place. Um, and so if you can have a lab right on site, and Meridian has, provides the CLIA license, and the folks at Motopara provide the personnel who know how to run all the stuff, and we just sell tests, we think that's a great solution for us. That sounds amazing. That's nationwide, correct? That's nationwide and international. So that's uh, amazing. You know, in the U.S., you know, we have the infrastructure to be able to build labs reasonably quickly uh, because of our grid and several other things. In other parts of the world, they don't have that infrastructure. And so without a mobile solution, there's literally nothing. So you know, right now the focus is obviously United States. Uh, we want to go on every military base in the world. Um, and then uh, with, as we expand that, we're going to be looking at deploying in different states and then deploying internationally. Sounds like a great advancement. And your last partnership was with Capnova. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Sure. So we have a subsidiary in Singapore called Totos Medical Singapore. And uh, when we uh, made progress start getting to COVID testing, uh, they became very interested uh, for two reasons. One. They, we did trials in Singapore on our cancer platform previously, and it was something that they wanted to get involved with more seriously, but there was never really a mechanism to do it. Um, when COVID uh, hit, uh, we started getting a lot of interest because we were developing a turnkey solution that many places didn't have. Um, and as the discussions progressed, they suggested that you know it might make a lot of sense for us to combine forces and develop the uh, COVID market and then use those proceeds to reinvest and build out our cancer platform. Uh, and so you know they've got some very big investors behind them uh, in Tomasic Holdings, and uh, they've been very supportive of what we've been doing so far. And we think that it's going to be a big uh, a, a big event as we launch this and help increase the capacity over there as well. And did Totos always strive to um, work in that region? Yeah, that, well, that's why we started a subsidiary over there because you know it's a it's a large population. They're pretty sophisticated in terms of uh, their ability to deliver products to the market, and uh, they have you know a significant amount of capital to put to work, uh, and they're yeah. looking for good opportunities. And with our AI platform which is something that you know they've been focused on bringing AI into healthcare it just seemed like a very good strategic fit. And so where do you see the company in a, a few years? 
Well, a few years is a long time from now in COVID universe. Uh, we're Definitely. thinking a few months. Uh, we're focused on being uh, really a second tier leader for COVID testing. You know, there are the big guys like Roche and Abbott and Cepheid, mm -hmm. and those guys are selling to the Quest and Lab Course. Uh, the problem is that Quest and Lab Course is maxed out. They can't really increase their capacity beyond what they're getting from Roche and Abbott and Cepheid, and those right. guys have to supply the whole world not just the U.S. And so there's really an opportunity for a second source, uh, a second tier that puts together a comprehensive solution in a time of crisis like this as a branded product to emerge. And that's that's our objective. That's great to hear. And we'll definitely be watching out for Toto. Thank you so much for being here today.